Hello and welcome to By Excellence Tutorials. Well, where we say happiness is understanding and feeling physics. Wonderful. So uh, I've come again with another exciting question on uh, rotational dynamics. All right, so the question reads, a cylinder of radius 24 centimeter is mounted on a horizontal axis coincident with a cylinder's axis. A cord is wound <clears throat> on the cylinder and a 100 gram mass is hung from it. After being released, the mass drops 180 centimeters in 1.50 seconds. Find the moment of inertia of the cylinder and the tension in the cord while the mass is falling. All right, so you get to try to picture it, all right? Because if you can't see it, you can solve it. So you try to picture that you have a cylinder. How does a cylinder look? All right, maybe it looks like this. All right. So we have a cylinder and we are told that a, a, a rope is wound on, on the cylinder. And we can say, so we have a hundred gram mass here. This is hundred gram, all right. And now this cylinder has got the radius of um, 24 centimeters which is uh, basically 0 0.24 meters. And we are taught to say, after it has been released, this mass has been released, uh, it goes, it drops a height of 180 centimeter. So 180 centimeter is, uh, it's 1.8 meters. And, um, the time it takes is basically 1.5 seconds. All right, so we are being asked to find the moment of inertia. Now, how do we find moment of inertia of that cylinder? So we know that uh, moment of inertia, the relationships uh, like you, you can recall from the just previous video, we talked about moment of inertia being equal to force times distance and moment of inertia again being equal to, um, sorry, torque, I mean, torque being equal to force times perpendicular distance and also torque being equal to moment of inertia times the angular, uh, angular acceleration. So from these two equations, we must be able to get the moment of inertia. And also we must be able to get the, the tension in the code that we've been asked. All right, so now, what do we see? We see that <clears throat> we start to analyze first the, the mass. So this mass, what we see is that it's going to have some tension, tension force in the string, and it's going to have the weight here, all right? So if according to Newton's second law of motion, what do we have? We have um, the summation of the forces. So this is in the Y, must give us the motion, which is mass times acceleration, all right? So now, what are the forces acting in the y direction? So this has been released, meaning it's going downward. So mg, the weight minus the tension force gives us motion, which is like that, right? So we can say, we can make tension the subject and we're going to have mg minus ma which can be M like that. All right, so that is 
the first equation. So that equation can be able to help us to find what? To find the tension force in that string. Now, notice something here. To so say we've been given the height which uh, this mass drops, which is 1.8, and the time it took to, to, to cover that distance or that height. So if we are given those two, we can be able to find the acceleration. All right. We can be able to find the acceleration. So let's let's look at this. You're just looking at the kinematic part of that uh, mass. So we have height being equal to initial velocity times time plus half at squared like that, all right? And then <clears throat> what we're going to have is that uh, this one is coming from rest, all right? It has been released from rest, of course. So we're going to have 1.8 here being equal to zero plus half a 1.5 squared. So we're going to have 1.8 being equal to 1.5 it being equal to, or maybe I'll just say this is um, this is the same as time to rewrite this one. It's the same as two times one point eight over one point five squared being equal to acceleration. So acceleration is going to be 1.6 meter per square. So this is the acceleration, uh, this uh, mass of 100 uh, grams dropped with. All right. So having found the acceleration, we can bring it into equation one. And what are we going to have? We are going to have our tension being equal to the mass, the mass, which is 100 grams. 100 grams, we convert it to, to kg, and it's going to be 0 0.1 kilogram. And we are multiplying by the, the what's this? of uh, all right so we are sorry about that so we have our gravitational acceleration is basically 9.81 meter per se square second minus our acceleration which is 1.6 like that so when we punch that one we're going to get um, 0 0.821 Newton. So that's the tension that we found. So we've gotten the tension. We've gotten the acceleration. And we have the radius of the cylinder. We can be able now to find the moment of inertia by using these two equations. So in the first equation, in the first equation, you have uh, torque being equal to the force times its perpendicular distance, which happens to be the, the radius. Right now, that force is the tension force, the T that we've just found. That's the force there, all right? So look, that's the force that is perpendicular to, to the radius there. So now we're going to say we have tension times radius being equal to moment of inertia times acceleration like that. All right, so now what are we going to have? We're going to have um, this mom, uh, angular acceleration has got a relationship uh, with the tangential acceleration. We know that the relationship is Tangential acceleration is given by the radius 
times angular acceleration. So angular acceleration is going to be tangential acceleration over the radius. So we're going to have TR being equal to that over R, like that. So this equation is basically going to be moment of inertia, oh sorry, this is tangential acceleration. Moment of inertia times acceleration being equal to T times R squared. All right, so now moment of inertia is going to be T R squared over A. So we can substitute moment of inertia is 0 0.821 Newton. And the radius is uh, 0 0.24 meters. So we square this and the acceleration 1.6 meter per square second. So our, our uh, moment of inertia is going to be zero point zero two nine six kg meter squared. That is the moment of inertia. I believe uh, you enjoyed the, this video. And if you've enjoyed, give it a, a reaction. Give me the feedback and I will be glad and kindly help us by subscribing to the YouTube channel and clicking on the notification bell so that you'll be among the first to get notified of the new content uh, being uploaded. Well, you can also share with your friends as well. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video.